Hey guys, how's it going? <laughs> I was gonna say welcome back to my channel, but I'm posting this on my Denali Does Stuff YouTube channel, and it's been so long since I've posted there that saying welcome back somehow does not feel appropriate. More like, hi, I've resuscitated this channel or I'm attempting to, and so if you're watching and you stuck around, how's it going? I'm Denali, if you've forgotten who I am, and I don't know what else to tell you without like going into, I, I, I don't know, a whole profile of me. So maybe just go back and watch a, re, uh, a video if you don't know, know who you subscribe to. So anyways, hi, I just got back from vacation and I thought I would just say hello. Uh, my family and I went to Disneyland for a few days. It was a belated Christmas gift for my son. We flew out last Wednesday, stayed at went to Disneyland on Thursday, California Adventure on Friday, and then flew home on Saturday. It was a nice little trip. We had really nice weather. Being from the Pacific Northwest, as you can see in the background where there is um, overcast skies, it felt really great to have 75 degree weather. <laughs> uh, so now I'm home and I'm just about to go back into work. I just grabbed a coffee because I really needed it. And I will also be hopefully putting a video together this week of the trip. I did take some video footage, not the best footage, but you know, it's my video footage. <laughs> and hopefully I will publish that this week in terms of what this channel is and what it will be. Well, you know, it's always been called Denali Does Stuff and that's going to continue to be what it is it's just me doing stuff and maybe it's interesting to you and maybe it's not hopefully it is interesting and you stick around i did also create an instagram account for denali does stuff so you can guess what the instagram handle is well what else do i want to say okay i have a funny well it's not really a funny story it's more of a question for you <laughs> i just went through I got my coffee and I went through, oh, actually really funny. Okay, so they turn mobile order off at Starbucks. They just do it at my store for some reason. They'll turn it off and on all the time. I'm guessing it's based on busyness. I'm not sure because <clears throat> I was like, well, I'm just gonna walk in because I saw the drive through line and it was probably 10 people deep. So the mobile order is turned off. So I drive up and out in front of the store, they have the mobile order pickup spots. Well, I'm thinking, okay, well, mobile orders turned off. So nobody's going to park here. So I'm going to park here. <laughs> but I think I maybe messed up their flow <laughs> because when I was in there, I ordered my stuff. I was waiting for my drink. And then some girl who was working there came over to the handoff counter and she said, is somebody here for a mobile order? and nobody said anything. <laughs> and then as I was leaving or grabbing my straw, somebody said, one of the employees said, uh, you know, somebody, yeah, somebody's here for mobile. And I was like, okay, I'm leaving because this is clearly a problem. So anyways, <laughs> but I mean, can't I park there if there's no mobile orders? It's turned off. Is it not turned off for everybody? Do they select people to turn it off for? Okay. Cause that makes me upset if that's the case. Okay, so second thing, then I drove over, over to Rite Aid, which was in the same parking lot because of course the Starbucks and a Rite Aid would be near each other. I feel like in any town in the US, you could probably find those matched up. So anyways, I drive over to the Rite Aid and I drive up and the drive up window and the registers are kind of like further apart. And I feel like the employees can't always see that you're at the drive up. So whenever I drive up, I always hit the call button. Cause there's a button that's a, a big yellow button that says call. So whenever I do, I notice that the employees will turn and they'll be like this. Ooh, which I feel like they're not happy with me for hitting the call button, but isn't that what you're supposed to do? I, I, I'm not trying to be rude. I'm just hitting the call button because I'm just letting them know that I'm there. And I'm totally happy with like waiting. I was just letting them know I'm there. So anyways, uh, the l person who works there, <laughs> she's been there a long time. 
and she kind of gave me a, a, a little bit of a look, but then when she came over to the window, she was, uh, I think the best word was like saccharin sweet. Uh, that would be the best descriptive term. And <laughs> she was just extra, you know, extra sweet with me, a, a little over the top. And by the time I left, she was, she was laying on thick. By the time I left, she's like, you have a really great day, but like, just like that. Uh, it didn't feel the most genuine, but I don't know if that's also her personality. So it's really hard to tell. So anyways, you guys tell me if anybody's watching this video, am I supposed to hit the call button or no? Like, am I being rude by hitting the call button? I'm, I'm not trying to imply like, Hey, you're not paying attention to me. For me, I'm just thinking, is there a bell that notifies them? Cause I don't think there is. I've been on the other side of the drive through I go in and pick up sometimes. And I don't think I've ever heard like a ding or anything like that because the windows, you know, it's just the counters are open on the inside. So I would hear that sort of thing. So yeah, I'm not trying to be rude, but I want to know the etiquette. And I almost asked her, I almost said like, do you guys want me hitting the bell or not? I should just ask next time. I feel like that's the best resolution to this. Uh, but then I, I also, uh, you know, or am I going to get that reply where it's like, no, it's fine. You can hit it. <laughs> So anyways, let me know your opinion on that. Um, what else do I wanna say? I don't know, I'm ready to go back to work. I think there's a lot of inventory in the in the warehouse right now. And yeah, there's just a lot of processing to do. I think two pallets are coming today. <laughs> and that's not, that's not it for our deliveries. We still have quite a bit of stuff still coming. Um, these are all orders I placed about a month and a half and two months ago, unfortunately, due to a lot of different reasons. Uh, one being pandemic related and one being, what is the other one? Pandemic and weather, sorry. Cause we had some snow at the end of December. It just caused delays for us. I don't know. But anyways, the stuff is slowly but surely making its way here and I guess I'm happy it's kind of spread out. The only thing that's been frustrating is sometimes they'll tell us, you know, they'll call us, they'll say, hey, your stuff's gonna come at this this time frame on this day. We wait all day for it, it never shows. So that's been the most frustrating is just the anticipation of having it come on a certain day and then it doesn't show up. It's just stressful. Cause you're like, well, it's past five o'clock now. Is it gonna come now? Yeah. Other than that, I ha I got a planner. I always get a planner in j January. And I've been trying to map out my days. I kind of fell off the bandwagon last week with vacation. So I'm going to hop back on that bandwagon this week. And yeah, try and plan out my days. I'm really trying to stick to a schedule. Because schedules kind of work for me. At least gives me an idea of what I sh should be doing and need to take care of. So... Anyways, I guess that's all I have. I, I feel like I'm kind of rambling at this point. But anyway, so the next video for me is hopefully a video of our trip. And I hope you subscribe and like this video and do all those things. And you stick around and you hang out with me. Uh, this isn't my typical reselling related content. Um, but, you know, I realize that not everybody wants to see the personal stuff. And so I want to honor and respect that as much as I can by separating it uh, because not everybody wants to know what face lotion I use because I have an oily forehead, which by the way, I just posted in my Instagram stories. If my forehead looks kind of matte or my face does, I have been using, I can't remember the name of it, something really fancy. It's in my Instagram stories from yesterday. Oh man, I wish I knew what it was called. Maybe I'll put it in the description down below. Anyway, I'm, I'm really rambling at this point, so I'm going to go. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Talk to you soon. Bye.